אותו בהרגשו. אלכסנדר טלין, הוא ארטיסט, הוא ארט דיזיינר, קמפוזר, פואט, והוא פרדיוס בייטפול פאפיט שואו.
артист Артем Милорович и Дмитрий Трехвятский. Hi, my name is Artem Mirolovich. I'm a New York-based uh, artist and I invite you to dive into Multiverse. Multiverse is a multimedia immersive installation created by Dmitry Terekhsvatsky and myself. Dmitry and I have been working together for the last two years and showcased our first uh, collaboration work in Venice, Italy for the Venice Biennale in the summer of 2019. And today we present to you the new chapter of Multiverse, which is currently featured at Dennis Leon Gallery in Southampton, New York. Multiverse combines large-scale oils with the projection mapping, film, and the soundtrack. The soundtrack is created by an algorithm, specifically created by Dimitri, to read the composition uh, and the brush strokes of the oil painting and to transform it into a soundtrack. The Tree of Life is the concept that I've been working with uh, for the last uh, uh, 15 years of my life. I created a lot of paintings, etchings and various uh, two-dimensional uh, works of art related to it. Uh, and it's the first time that Dimitri and I took the Tree of Life into multiverse and created a three-dimensional experience that uh, explains uh, I think explains the whole series better than any press release uh, can do, you know, because you're just there physically and you are experiencing everything that I thought about while I was creating the painting. And it's not just me, it's uh, two minds who put together, as can be brilliantly seen in our soundtrack. Um, and uh, it's also interesting because each painting has its own emotional background and it's clearly seen in the soundtrack because it's uh, it's an algorithm that reads the painting under Dimitri's careful guidance uh, and transforms it into, into the sound that uh, really takes you there, as well as the video and the uh, two-dimensional artwork does. Eternal Heart was created about a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, and uh, it was created for the uh, Hearts series and was the largest painting out of that series and that's why Dimitri and I decided to use it for the multimedia installation the multiverse. Uh, it landed itself incredibly well. It not only translates uh, one media into another, it also explains it because all the ideas and all the thoughts that I had while I was creating the painting were then verbally translated to friend Dimitri with whom we uh, worked on the video together. Uh, it could actually be much more visible in our second installation, The Tree of Life. Because uh, while I was working on The Tree of Life, I was thinking of, uh, well, you see The Tree of Life, uh, the crown of the tree is in the clouds, and the roots of the tree are also in the clouds. So you can't really tell what, uh, what season it is, if it has a season or not. But I was definitely thinking about the seasons. First of all, The Tree of Life, for me is a kind of a concept of the universe. So I was thinking about the universe and how it transforms into seasons and on and on and on. So the first step of the process is to create an oil painting. The oil painting serves as a jumping point for the whole installation. Let's take Eternal Heart, for example. Uh, the painting took me three to four months to complete. Um, it was a fun, creative process, and while I was working on the painting, Dimitri and I already started thinking about the video and video mapping that will manifest into multi-universe.
We invite you to dive into multiverse and discover for yourself the birth of creative universe. Be immersed. Be immersed with us. show today we have Elina Gretel with her band and she is going to introduce all this amazing musician okay Elina thank you um, I am Elina Gretel and uh, I'm playing today with the um, with my favorite people in the world uh, first one um, I'm playing with art art is not just a drummer he's a composer himself he has many big bands that are so ins inspiring that I come and, and, and watch so many times just to get an inspiration, to get the crazy feel of what music should sound like, uh, this honest sound of trumpets and trombones with his, with his uh, uh, amazing writings, with the background, I don't even know where the background, just, just the fact that he studied comp composition in Berkeley is uh, something that I would probably dreamed about. So, so that's, that's my art. And, uh, and uh, if, uh, if we were at the concert right now, I would ask for a big applause, but you know, we're not at the concert, we're at, at television. So, and uh, <laughs> bravo. <laughs> I like his name, Art. 
art. <laughs> yeah. And um, I play with Sasha. Uh, Sasha is my everything. Sasha is the one who sits down and plays his musical instruments. Sasha is a Renaissance man who plays so many different instruments. So when he sits down and plays um, accordion, or when he sits down and plays a little bit of bass or, or a little bit of a guitar, I cannot just not write music. So, so Sasha is my greatest inspiration, and uh, and I'm fortunate to to be able to drag him today to to your show. Thank you so much for having us, and uh, and um, we talked about what we're gonna talk about, and uh, um, I think it would be good to start with the poetry and where that comes from. Yes, because uh, for the for the longest time, if we talk about my art. Not that art, but my own art. Uh, <laughs> um, I was a poet, and I always wanted to be a poet. Uh, you know when the parents are asking you wh what you want to be when you grow up? Um, I was saying, I'm, I want to be a poet. And my mom was like, no, 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 please, please, just find a real <laughs> profession and then be a poet. And then I said, how about Brodsky? How about Akhmatova? Because I come from, uh, I, I, I'm a, from Belarus. I'm a from a white Russia, as we call it in those days. And I'm, what about those fantastic artists? And they're like, you know, they're just, you know, they're poets. You, you do your thing, you, you do your art, you, you know, on the side and be real, have a real job. So my real job was a poet from the childhood. And when did you start it? When? Um, I started <clears throat> when I was about six or seven years old. Oh. I, um, I really fell in love with Lermontov. But uh, I figured, you know, I wanted, to, I wanted to say his poetry to people. I want to read it. I want to tell it. But uh, I wasn't greatest on remembering things. So I rewrote it. I started rewriting all the learnment of there was, uh, rewriting all the poems. And finally, I rewrote the complete, uh, complete poetry of learnment of. Bring it to people and they thought I'm crazy. Of course, six, seven years old girl could not rewrite something that would be remotely talented. And uh, when I was getting these big no-no's, please don't do that again. Don't, don't, don't read Lermontov. Do the original version. Use your own memory. And uh, I was like, oh, so you don't want to hear me writing Lermontov? I'm going to do it so well one day. Probably then, uh, people don't know who is Lermontov, so you have to tell that he's, he's a great, great Russian poet. He was the greatest Russian poet and uh, one of my favorite Russian poets. His uh, melodical poetry is so deep and, <laughs> and thoughtful. He was a young man, but somehow the talent of the wisdom gave this young man the greatest words. And uh, that was my first love, Lermontov. So, of course, nobody wanted to hear six years old reciting their own poetry of Lermontov, kind of like a uh, remake, as we say these days, of Lermontov. And uh, I said to everyone one day that uh, I'm going to write so well that uh, I'll be the next one. So this is my very, very first song in English. Every night, every night I'm walking in my sleep. My pain is very deep, my fears are coming to me, and all over I see eyes of a moonless night. But then I feel myself as a part of the world. I'm a child, but I'm a bird in the sky. And then I see my fears are going away, and I'm telling myself, wake up and fly every day every day I'm running to my place all my life on the stage I have a street of rage my fears are coming to me and all over I see eyes of a moonless night but then I feel myself as a part of the world I'm a child My fears are going away And I'm telling myself, 
wake up and fly. Very nice, beautiful, beautiful. Absolutely great music. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. That was my very first song. And then there was a journey. There was a when did you write this? I wrote this when I was 17 years old. Oh, this boy. was my very first song and in uh, English. From that and time, there were so many. There's the, the life brought me to um, on uh, tours all over the United States. I played with incredible artists. I, I, my greatest inspiration was Chuck Berry. When I shook his hand, I thought I couldn't breathe. And uh, <laughs> his advice in life was just incredible. So songs are coming in goofy ways. So this song... I want to dedicate, Margot, to you and your wonderful show. Thank you very much. This is my... Thank you very much. Our time is over. Our time is over. Please come back. 